Welcome to this tutorial on one of many ways to record an acoustic guitar. Firstly, we want to make sure that our preamp has enough signal to capture the sound. We want to find the most comfortable position for the musician so he can play his instrument adequately. We are asking him to start playing and while he does, we will be adjusting the microphone on the sound source. We will start at a standard point, which is around the 12th fret. Then we will readjust our preamp to obtain a good sounding level. Once I've done this, I'm going to once again adjust the microphone position to find the sound the artist and I are happy with. One way I recommend to do this is to take a pair of headphones so we can hear the adjustments we are making in real time. Next, I will move the microphone around the instrument, finding the position that gives us our favorite sound to our ears. Once we find that sweet spot, we will secure the mic so that it does not move. Adjust the preamp to make sure the volume is at a healthy level. It is also recommended to record the signal just to take a quick look at the waveform, just to make sure we have good levels. It's not a rule, it's just something I do that helps me. Here we have the recorded guitar in Pro Tools. Let's start mixing and add some processing. Let's select a section and loop it first. Firstly, we're going to add an EQ. going to boost the mid-high frequencies a bit to add some definition to the sound. Then I'm going to cut the lows. Just a bit to eliminate any undesired or needless sounds. Again, I'm going to boost the high frequencies just a little. Now, I'm going to insert a compressor to control the dynamics. Like I said before, I like this compressor because it's very easy to use. I'm always going to try and only compress up to 1.5 to 2 decibels. Now let's open an auxiliary channel and insert an effect. Firstly, we will insert a reverb. And 
in this case, I'm going to use the Bright Hall preset. Now I'm going to select an input for this reverb. I'm quickly going to rename it to be more organized. And in the send, I will find the name and activate it. Then start playing around with the effect on the instrument. I'm attempting to distinguish the changes in reverb by stopping and playing the track rapidly. I'm going to cut a little more of the mid-low frequencies. Now here's the recording without any processing. Now, with processing. I'm going to increase the highs on the reverb and raise the send. That's it for today. Check out our channel, we have plenty more examples. Thanks again from Signature Sound Studios.